Hello everybody and welcome to Top 10 To-Do List, a channel which shows you fascinating destinations while providing the most useful information to you for your holiday. In this video, we're going to be covering the top 10 attractions in Miami in no particular order apart from the very best till last. We'll also be showing you the best places to shop, eat out and where you can grab a drink and join in all the fun. Throughout the video, I'll be providing you with all the tips and information for each attraction to make your holiday that extra more special and show you some of the places that many tourists know nothing about. And make sure that you stay tuned in to the very end of the video because after we reveal the best thing to do in all of Miami, I'll be talking to you about the three most important things that you need to know before coming to Miami. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and especially click that bell button so you don't miss out on any of the fascinating videos that I'll be making in the future. Starting off our video, we start with Miami's most iconic attraction being South Beach. South Beach lies at the southern end of Miami Beach and is one of the most sought after beachfront locations in the world, situated between the Atlantic Ocean and Biscayne Bay. Due to the clear blue waters and white sand beach, along with its magnificent hotels, resorts, art galleries, nightlife and shopping, South Beach is visited by nationals and tourists from around the world and is recognized as a worthy stay for anyone. Apart from all the sunbathing and swimming, a popular place to visit on South Beach is South Point Park Pier. Many people come here to get some of the best pictures of South Beach and to enjoy the lovely views the pier offers. You can also find other activities here that many of the locals enjoy such as cycling, rollerblading, beach volleyball or even working out at the outdoor gym. If you're coming to Miami mainly for the beach then the best times to visit are from March to May when the temperatures are at their most pleasant between 20 and 27 degrees Celsius. The running parallel to South Beach is the legendary strip known as Ocean Drive. During the day, this is a great place to chill out as it's less busy. The strip is lined in abundance with palm trees which separate South Beach from Ocean Drive, helping to cover the strip with enough shade from Miami's notorious hot sunshine weather. Here you can enjoy a nice walk and look at all the cool Art Deco hotels including the well-known Villa Casa Casarina which is owned by the famous Italian fashion designer Gianni Versace. It's also a great place to grab some lunch, coffee and ice cream or even indulge yourself with a special cocktail as you watch all the different types of characters hanging out and enjoying Miami's most famous and decorated strip. Now if you're into your fancy cars, it's also a supercar hotspot. Here you'll find many people, including international celebrities, driving some of the world's most expensive cars, as well as some awesome unique vehicles too. And during the night, however, there is a complete changeover, and all the restaurants, bars and art deco hotels are lit up by a colourful display of neon lights, and the strip is filled with live performance. One of the best venues on Ocean Drive is Mango's Tropical Cafe, which offers non-stop entertainment with its colorful interior, signature cocktails, and its spectacular and glamorous live shows and music. Now 
Now with Miami being so famous for its art, there's no surprise that next on our list is a district solely dedicated to street art. The Windward Walls are one of the largest open air art installations in the world, which capture some of the best street art from all over the planet. Over the years, some of the most famous street artists have been using the walls as their canvases to create the best collection of street art ever seen in one place. Now, while some of the art murals are permanent, some do change every few years. So if you have been here before, you may want to come back to see what's new. Now we arrive at Lincoln Road. This 10 block stretch is decorated with art, water features and lined with palm trees and provides over 200 retailers with shopping hotspots, restaurants and entertainment hubs as well as street vendors and performers making it suitable for anyone. It is hugely popular with tourists as you can find places such as tour operating companies, souvenir shops, and it's pretty much in the middle of many of the other tourist attractions. Now, as you reach the end of Lincoln Road and just off of South Beach is the Delano Hotel. This is a great place to stop off after strolling down Lincoln Road. Many people think that you have to be a guest of the hotel to enjoy their bar and garden facilities, but I assure you, you do not. The hotel holds a luxurious lobby with pool tables and a stunning bar, and outside you can find a beautifully lit setting in a huge garden with a large infinity pool and another bar bringing you your drinks as you chill out and enjoy the poolside luxury. Now Miami's population is largely populated by Cubans. The journey of the Cubans and how their culture helped shape Miami can be seen in the colorful streets of this cultural attraction named Little Havana. Little Havana caters to tourists with its art galleries, street art, busy restaurants and cafes, and of course, many of the Cuban locals that you'll find rolling their cigars while enjoying a game of dominoes. Now, if you fancy tasting some Cuban cuisine, then I recommend stopping off at Vasely's and grabbing the famous Cuban sandwich with a nice cup of Cuban coffee. Now, if you're taking the Miami bus tours, then they'll most definitely be stopping off here for a lunch break. Or if you're getting around by yourself, it is just a 20 minute drive from South Beach. Now, if you're one that doesn't like to be around too many people and prefers to get away from all the noise or you just want to save yourself some money, then head over to the lovely island town known as Key Biscayne. Key Biscayne is an idyllic island where you can admire the natural wonders, state parks and paradise views, as well as enjoying beaches that are regularly featured in top 10 lists. This island oasis offers plenty of fun and free things to do, such as enjoying the famous clean waters and engaging in laid back beach activities, or you can join the locals for some fishing. There is also an attractive lighthouse that you can visit. Make sure that you make your way all the way to the top as you can see some lovely 360 degree views out towards Miami City and across the Atlantic Ocean. The lighthouse is open from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day, apart from Tuesday and Wednesday, when it's closed. Now, when it comes to food and drink, I highly recommend bringing your own and setting up a picnic as there aren't many shops nearby. Now, if you fancy something really different, there is also a highly recommended activity to do here, which I sadly didn't have enough time for, which is taking a two hour moonlight canoe trip that shows you the natural environment and marine life. 
We now arrive at a more historic attraction in Miami, being the stunning Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. Constructed in 1916, this Italian at palace was built by a man with a dream and the money to make it happen. Today, the property is estimated to be around $9 billion. That's right, you heard me right, billion with a B. It is recognized internationally for its cultural and historic significance and is a proud national historic landmark. Here you'll enjoy a dynamic visitor experience as you walk around the beautifully designed gardens and within the luxurious mansion admiring some of the most stunning historic architecture in all of Miami. Now in the heart of downtown Miami, we arrive now at the number one visited attraction in all of Miami, Bayside Marketplace. This two-story open-air shopping center combines live music, over 100 retailer shops, and popular restaurants such as Hard Rock Cafe, Hooters, Bubba Gump Shrimp, as well as many other lovely places to enjoy your food and drinks, and all located on a beautiful seaside setting overlooking the bay. It's also the best place to come and book one of the many tours around Miami. Open top bus tours and boating tours are a great way to explore Miami, but if you want to spend a bit more, you can also get helicopter tours over the city. And right next to Bayside, you'll find the FTX Sports Arena, being home to the famous Miami Heat NBA basketball team, and also the busiest passenger port in the world, bringing in thousands of tourists to Miami every day from the huge cruise liners. Now before we get to the best thing to do in all of Miami, I'd like to give a quick look into the Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. If you're more of a nature lover, then a visit to this lovely 83 acre botanical garden is a must. The site holds some of the world's best and most beautiful collections of plants, with over 20,000 plants including palms, cicards and flowering trees, the Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden's aim is to preserve biodiversity. You'll never run out of things to discover at the garden exhibits, which feature unusual vines, exotic flower species, gorgeous orchids, streams and waterfalls. Now it's time to show you what I believe, as well as many others, to be the best activity to do in all of Miami. And that is cruising on the waters of Miami by private boat hire. Although this may sound like an expensive activity for some, if you have three or more people to share the costs, then it is very affordable. I used a great company called Captain Joe's, which has a large selection of different sized boats and yachts with fun activities for you to enjoy while out on the water, from jet skiing, tubing, and many other water sports. Captain Joe's also provides chillers to keep your drinks nice and cold, and an experienced captain who will suggest a fun itinerary for you or even let you drive the boat yourself. There's also an area where the waters are shallow enough for you to paddle in. This is a great place to meet other people on their boats and grab some food from the local boating station while enjoying the beautiful warm waters of Miami.
You'll also see spectacular views such as dolphin sightings, some amazing properties owned by worldwide famous celebrities, and the world famous Miami sunsets, all while chilling out to some music and enjoying a nice cold drink. Hello everybody, now just to let you know, if you want to find out more about the places that you've seen in this video, as well as many other things to do in Miami, such as local cuisine, coffee hangouts, shopping, nightlife, transport, more tips and information, then head over to the Top 10 To Do List website. Now I'm going to quickly give you three tips that you really need to know if you decide to visit Miami. Tip number one is transport. The best way to get around the city is by Uber, the cost of parking is very high in Miami and it can be also difficult to find a parking space. Parking ticket wardens are also out there to get you and if your car is parked somewhere it's not supposed to, you can easily be towed away. Uber taxis are very affordable and there's no need to worry about parking or being towed. Now tip number two, if you're not from the USA, then you should know that Miami, like most of America, expects tips. Always have lots of small bills and make sure that you tip waiters or anybody that works in the service industry. And tip number three is safety. Miami is very famous for bad driving and there have been many accidents. So my advice to you is to be extremely careful when walking near roads as it could be your life. Now I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving me the old thumbs up. I put a lot of time and effort into making it as informative as I could for all of you. If there's anything at all that you think I've missed, then please do let me know in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear about it and also I can add it onto the website. Now please don't forget to subscribe and especially click that bell button because with the more subscribers I have, the more videos I can make for all of you and hopefully turn doing what I love into a full-time job. Now that's it from me. If you want to watch more of my videos, I've made quite a few back home in the UK that are definitely worth a watch. Or if you want to catch up with what I'm filming next, then head over to my Instagram account and follow me there. So until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.